yesterday, man. I know you've been recovering. This thing keeps moving along health-wise. I mean, where are you at? How close are you been able to fight? I'm, I'm able to fight right now. Uh, I feel good. I've been back in American Top Team, I think, now going on a month. From here, I'm going straight back there. I'm staying there until I fight. So I don't know what's coming, what's next, but I'm going to start preparing awesome. for it, you know? Got the grappling competition set up. I mean, yeah. The tough guy, Dude, the, too. the toughest, right? I got to ask, was that just like your like need for competition? Like you can't stay out? Yeah, and then I saw an opportunity while I'm, well, I don't have anything coming. It gives me something to really look forward to, something to prepare for. Plus, obviously, I got submitted my last fight. Let's. It, it, it makes me focus on that aspect of my game. So it's just fun. It's challenging, you know? And, and of course, I'm doing it for my charity as well. So it just works for everything. Yeah, it's fun stuff. I was going to ask you, you know, kind of what date you had in mind, but the social media app went out today. You said you had to talk. Nate Diaz is well, the yeah, guy. I, ready to do I spoke to Sean last night, and you know, uh, I know that they offered him offered him the fight, either in uh, California in May or International Fight Week. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if he takes it. But it, the, the offer's out there. Are you okay with that? I mean, we know what happened last time. So I mean, are you hesitant to get involved in a fight like this, or does it excite you? Dude, last time was a, was a mess. You know, I don't care what, what what he says. He knows the truth. It was a mess. They were offering me Kevin Lee as a replacement. It just fell apart. You know, but uh, I don't know. You know, if if he says yes, I, I expect him to show up. Nice. Take a look at the crystal ball, man. You know, a lot of people. This will beat Ferguson fight. Everybody's looking forward to it. I think everybody's scared to say. Do you think it happens this time, or does it not happen? I think it happens. Yeah. I think it happens. Yeah, okay. I, th I think this time it happens. I was going to ask you, so is there any part of you that was like, let me make sure I'm a little striking distance of 155? Well, they're going to run with Connor. They already said that before, you know. But uh, I'm not far away from that, you know. I just, But I want to be involved in exciting fights. I think Nate's an exciting fight, or whatever they offer me. But they haven't offered me anything. I know they offered it to Nate, so we'll see. What do you think about uh, what, about Connor being in there as a replacement? I mean, he just want to fight at 170. Is that against a guy on a skid? You know, I, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense sports and ranking wise but business wise it makes a whole lot of sense and this is a business so we'll is it see. hard to get to that point where you realize like I mean dollars and I mean it does dictate what happens this is an entertainment business you know uh, and, I, and I understand that the older I get the more mature I get in this sport I realize that so it just it is what it is I just want to be part of big exciting fights if, it, if it's not this Nate fight where does that leave you in terms of fights I mean I guess a Gaethje rematch would be there I mean I, I don't know Iaquinta maybe I mean Fajera's moving in uh, Gillespie I mean are you looking other than, I mean, there anything that excites you or says, like, ah, oh, this is where I fit in? Uh, maybe if they offered me a, one of those names, it would be exciting. But as of right now, just talking about it, no, it's not that exciting, honestly. You know? You think the Nate thing will come to fruition? I mean, you said it was a discussion, right? You said they offered it to him, but they offered they it to him. It to you, and that's <laughs> they mentioned it to me last night. They officially offered it to him. I don't know when, you know? I think they told me they were going to give him two weeks or something, but if they didn't hear, they were going to move on from it. So we'll see, you know? I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what's going on with the whole thing. You said that would be at 170. Would you prefer your next fight be at 170? The right guys. It, you know, if it's a, a Nate, I'll fight at 170. But these big, huge guys, I'm not going to fight them at 170, you know. Uh, and 55 is where, I, where I'm at. But I'll fight any 55 any 55 at 170. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. The one to be after Connor. Right? right, like Connor. I like it. All right, well, let's see. I mean, we got to wait, I guess, two weeks and see what Nate does. What's the deadline for you? I mean, what's I ideally you said this April or this uh, or, or July? I mean, what what works better for you if you were to call the shots? We'll see, man. I, I don't know. I know they're going. They plan on going back to New Orleans this year. Uh, obviously, I would love to be part of that. So. Uh, We'll see, but when that name, when they you know offer me something and and I, it has that that power, then I'll know it's the right one. But right now, nothing's really exciting. Besides the Nate fight, a Connor fight, or something like that.